So, what's next? Okay, punta naman tayo ngayon dito sa The Role of uh, Information Technology or IT in Business and How Does IT Helps in Management Information System. Okay? So, etong IT, it serves as Uh, we could consider this as a backbone of modern organizational operations. Because IT uh, enables the collection, storage, and processing of vast amounts of data, facilitating efficient decision-making and strategic planning. And within uh, MIS, IT empowers managers by transforming raw data into actionable information, thereby helping uh, businesses stay competitive and adaptive in today's dynamic business environment. Okay. So, ano ba ang IT before we proceed? Then, no? IT is computer-based tools. Okay. So, it's more of the utilization of computers, storage, networking, and other physical devices, infrastructure, and processes to create, process, store, secure, exchange all forms of electronic data. So, it's a broad term na ginagamit ngayon sa wide range of information processing technologies and systems. So, meron siyang apat na component yan eh. Hardware, software, yung dalawa, databases and telecommunications so let's uh, talk about hardware hardware refers to the tangible physical components of the it system so these are devices that you could physically touch and see okay so let's say for example yung mga physical parts of a computer system like circuits chips monitors drives printers are collective term as hardware So, they form the foundation upon which software can operate. So, example dyan, yung mga CPU, memory, yung RAM na sila sabi natin, storage devices, hard drive, SSDs, input device, keyboard, mouse, output device, monitor, printer, network device, routers, modems. Yan yung mga hardware. Software naman, ito yung collection of data or computer instructions that tell uh, that tells the computer how to work okay it's, it's a tangible component that enables and enhances the capabilities of the hardware so software uh, set of instructions that will guide the hardware on what task to perform okay it is what the users interact with most directly on a computer as it comprises the operating system applications and interface So, examples of operating systems are Windows, Mac OS, Linux, ganun. Application software, we have Microsoft Office, baba, sa yung mga uh, ginagamit mo dyan, ng mga applications, Photoshop, baba, Spotify, and the rest. Microsoft Word, ganyan, PowerPoint. And also, we have utility software such as antivirus programs, disk cleanup tools, And of course, yung mga system software, device drivers, na mga printer, na mga mouse, ano po ba? Okay. USB, ganon. And firmwares. Okay. Next, uh, components of IT is databases. A database is an organized collection of data that can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. So, A uh, database, it allows for the storage and retrieval of data in an efficient and structured manner. So, ito mga database na to, they support the creation, querying, updating, and management of stored data, often allowing multiple users to engage with the data simultaneously. So, I hope you encounter yung matiatawag natin na relational database, data warehouses or even yung mga no SQL database okay. 
Then number four, telecommunications refers to the transmission of data such as voice, video, across distances by electronic means utilizing wires, radio waves, optical uh, fibers, and other communication channels. Okay. So, example nito are your telephones, uh, landlines, mobile phones, uh, uh, broadband internet, DSL, fiber optics, wireless communication, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 5G, infrared, kung meron mga yung infrared, and even satellite communication. So, by integrating these components, hardware, software, databases, and telecommunications, IT uh, provides comprehensive solutions that allow businesses, institutions, and individuals to process and manage information efficiently and effectively. Now, what is the role of information in techno or of IT in the business? Number one is this one. Uh, IT supports yung mga information processing tasks. Okay? So, ibig sabihin niyan, IT simplifies yung mga complex and time-consuming tasks by automating them. So, it transforms yung mga raw data into a meaningful, actionable information, facilitating business operations, reducing human errors, and even enhancing efficiency. Okay? So, meron tayong uh, libang information processing tasks dito. So, here are the five data processing cycle steps that uh, typically follow, you know, a sequence uh, or, yeah, follow sequence or order, okay? The first uh, information processing task is itong capturing to be followed by gradually creating, and then conveying, and of course, communicating, okay? So, when we refer to capturing, this is the initial step where uh, raw data is collected. So, before anything can be done with data, it needs to be obtained. This could mean collecting new data through inputs or processing or accessing stored data. So, the so next step, which is a cradling, once data is being captured, it needs to be stored safely especially if it's going to be processed at a later time. So, cradling ensures uh, na mayroong safe storage for the data para magamit natin for the future. And we have here creating. So, with the data that is uh, or that were uh, captured and stored, the next step involves processing this raw data to derive new information and meaningful information. So, this could involve now calculations, data transformations, or other forms of data manipulation. Sa conveying naman, after processing the results, which are often in the form of uh, information, so there is, now, uh, uh, there is now this need to be, uh, to transform itong mga na-process the results into a readable or understandable format. So, this step presents the process information in a manner that is uh, actionable and interpretable. And then, number five, the final step is about transmitting now this process information on the conveying step to other systems or people, ensuring that the information is accessible and usable for decision making for or pwede mo ring magamit yan for further processes. So, this sequences ensures a logical flow from raw data collection to meaningful information dissemination. However, it's worth noting that uh, somehow in the real world uh, scenarios, especially if you have advanced IT systems, some of these steps might occur simultaneously or in slightly different order based on specific requirements. Right? So, how does this various information processing tasks 
or how does IT tools help in these uh, categories of information processing tasks? Let's go to uh, capturing information. Capturing information. Okay. So, capturing uh, refers to, di ba, sinabi natin na yung initial stage of acquiring raw data directly from its source. Okay? So, ngayon, in the digital age, capturing is often associated with entering or collecting data electronically. So, this is the foundational phase where the journey of raw data begins. And its quality and accuracy are very important. So, pwede kasing manual yung pag-entry mo dito, pag-capture mo ng uh, data, or pwede ka rin gumamit ng mga is, uh, barcodes, scanning barcodes, or digitally recording a customer's online behavior, okay, so that you could capture uh, yung mga raw data in nakukuha mo sa mga clients mo, customers, and other stakeholders. So, dito, uh, ang mga ginagamit kayang input, di ba, yung capturing. So, we have here various uh, input devices okay, that uh, uh, being used in capturing information. So, we have the keyboard, ma ma uh, mouse or touch screens, barcode readers, scanners, and even digital cameras. And, meron din tayo example dito kung paano uh, ano yung pwedeng ma-generate dito na information sa capturing. So, we have here example for general context and HR context. Okay, so, uh, kindly read the examples na lang. Okay. Next is dun sa cradling information. So, cradling is uh, the protective phrase where data and information are securely stored for future retrieval and reference. So, storage solutions naman ang nagagamit ng mga IT tools dito sa cradling information. So, I know you are familiar with uh, yan, yung mga hard drives, okay, external drive or USB, cloud uh, storage platform, and even yung paggamit ng mga backup systems. Okay? So, these systems, hard drives, cloud storage can hold vast amounts of data. Okay, and we have here an example for general context and HR context. Okay, so be aware that uh, cradling ensures that vulnerable information is not lost and can be accessed whenever required. And in also, it, it uh, emphasizes the importance of safeguarding data from potential threats. Ensuring na yung mga na-store nyo na data, okay, meron silang integrity and availability for future use. Okay. Next is the creating uh, information. Ano yung mga IT tools na ginagamit dito? Dito sa creating, uh, just like yung sinabi ko kanina, ito yung process where you're, you're going to to mold, okay? data into new forms information by processing, analyzing, and integrating it with other data sets. So, at this stage, businesses or organizations open uh, employ software tools to generate reports, graph financial statements, or even produce predictive analytics. So, I know you're aware with the uh, among MS Office, Okay. So, uh, specifically, yung uh, MS Excel, the use of database management system, business intelligence tools such as uh, Power BI, <clears throat> and most companies, especially yung mga large organizations, meron silang mga ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning software that integrates various business processes into a unified system. And we have examples or illustrations on how IT tools help in creating information in general context and in HR context. So, drafting a business proposal or contract, creating FS at the end of the year, 
And sa HR naman, pag-drop ng memo and running compensation and benefit calculations. Okay. Next is yung conveying uh, information. So, ito yung mga ginagamit ng mga IT tools or paano nakakatulong ang IT tools in conveying information. Involves presenting the captured data in a format or manner that is going to be understandable and beneficial to its intended audience. So, we are now translating yung mga raw numbers and process entries into visual or textual outputs that stakeholders can interpret. Okay? So, ang ginagamit muna dyan yung mga output devices natin to show okay, yung mga data is the use of computer screens, printers, and even speakers. Okay, example natin dito is displaying monthly sales data in a dashboard, printing out a quarterly financial report, announcing the launch of a new product in a store. Sa HR context naman, displaying employee performance metrics, printing employee contracts, or even announcing an employee town hall meeting. Okay? So, itong conveying, it ensures that data is, isn't just stored but transformed into a medium that aids comprehension and encourage informed action. And then, lastly, we have here the communicating information. So, in here, uh, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina na ang step na to is all about sharing, dissemination, or transmission of data and information to other systems, stakeholders, or locations. Okay, so yung paggamit natin ng mga internet and advanced IT tools, we can now share data and information globally in real time, enabling businesses to operate across borders with ease. Okay? So pag sinasabi natin communicating, hindi lang ito about sending data. No? It's all about ensuring the right information reaches the right people at the right time. Facilitating, of course, informed decisions, collaborations, and uh, strategic moves. So examples of IT tools being used to communicate information are your internet browsers, email, email clients, file transfer uh, protocol software, and even yung mga communication software natin. <clears throat> so we have here examples for uh, in, in the general context and HR context. Right? So yan, sending out a company-wide survey and job satisfaction, accessing centralized employee performance data from a different branch. Okay? So yan yung unang-unang na uh, uh, yung value na na-provide ng, ng IT sa ating negosyo, sa mga businesses. Next role of IT is it enables innovation by developing new and unique products and services. So, hindi lang nag-exist ang IT to make our processes more efficient. It also provides uh, avenue for creating entirely new solutions or even improving existing ones. So this uh, opens the door for businesses to offer new services, cater to new markets, and differentiate themselves from competitors. So example, I yung I know you are familiar with the uh, Airbnb, okay? Airbnb. So they are utilizing uh, or they utilize IT to disrupt the traditional hotel industry. Anong ginawa nila? They created a platform that allowed homeowners to rent out their spaces to travelers, creating a new marketplace that didn't exist before, and offering travelers more personalized accommodation options. Mm, another example could be yung mga streaming services. Okay, platforms just like Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, sila, lahat sila, they revolutionized the way we consume entertainment. Instead of buying DVDs, CDs, users can now stream their favorite shows, movies, music instantly, anytime, and anywhere. Ano pa yung mga possible example ng IT that enables uh, innovation? Yung mga e-commerce platforms, okay? 
companies like Amazon, ano pa ba? Alibaba, Shopee, Lazada. Okay, they have redefined retail. So customers can now browse, compare, and purchase products from the comfort of their homes with the added convenience of doorstep delivery. Okay? So other examples could be yung mga ride sharing apps, di ba? Uber, okay? Pa ba yung mga for example sa Manila, Joyride, okay? So iba na because yung mga apps nila it connects uh, drivers and riders in real time providing fair estimates and allow cashless transactions. Yung mga digital payment, uh, digital payments, GCash, PayMaya, PayPal Okay, they offer uh, it, it they offer now uh, yung digital uh, transfer of money okay so people and businesses send and receive money digitally negating uh, yeah negating the need for fiscal banking in many transactions so those are examples of how IT enables innovation in the developing and creation of a new products and services then lastly number three it collapses time and space so since it transcends uh, physical boundaries uh, it it allows now businesses to operate globally in real time so data can be stored retrieved process almost instantly ensuring that uh, organizations can make timely decisions and expand their operations without the limitations of geographical constraints. Okay? So, to summarize, yung IT, nireshape niya yung business landscape. It streamlines uh, operations, paves the way for innovations, and eliminates the barriers of time and space. This uh, grants businesses unparalleled uh, agility and competitive advantages in today's fast-paced global economy. Okay? So, let's look at the... Before we proceed to the role of IT to MIS, tignan muna natin ano ba yung uh, mukha ng... or the face of traditional management information system. Okay? So, pag na mo yung traditional method of MIS uh, dati, may kita natin dito yung mga older practices and systems that were used for management information before the advent of more modern digital tools, databases, software uh, applications, or as a whole yung paggamit ng uh, information technology. So, number one, there is this manual data collection and processing. So, before computers became widespread in business, data was collected manually using methods like handwritten ledgers, paper forms and surveys, and physical inventory counts. Okay. Number two, they have this non-integrated systems. So, ibig sabihin yan, each department or function might have their own isolated system or method of keeping information. So, for instance, finance might use one ledger or system. Inventory might have their own uh, uh, system. HR would have also distinct employee files. And somehow, these systems often lack interoperability, which means data from one systems could not be easily combined or analyzed with data from other system. Another is itong tabulation methods. So in the traditional MIS, once data was collected, it would often be tabulated manually or using simple uh, mechanical tools. So if ganun yung method, talagang time-consuming yan and prone to errors. Then we have here number four. Physical uh, data storage, information was stored uh, in physical formats like file cabinets, stock paper, okay? So, yun, talagang uh, yung data retrieval and sharing of data information is, uh, is slow and cumbersome. 
Number five is yung uh, limited analytical capabilities. So due to manual nature of the traditional MIS, analysis was also limited. So managers and analysts would rely on basic mathematical calculations and their intuition for decision making rather than sophisticated analytical tools. Okay? And with this, it could result into restricted information dissemination. So, in the traditional MIS, sharing information was a challenge. Bakit? Because, you know, reports uh, would be printed and physically distributed, making real-time decision-making almost uh, impossible. Diba? Hindi na real-time. It will take some time for you to get the needed information that you can use for decision-making. And then lastly, it, ito, vulnerabilities. Yeah. Since uh, physical storage and manual process yung ginagamit, so itong method na to, yung traditional MIS is susceptible to risk just like physical damage ng fire, water damage, etc. Okay? And loss or feathering na misplacement and of course, unauthorized access or feathering na theft. Yan, yeah, nanakawin yung mga Uh, documents documents uh, so PC na okay but with the use of uh, use of information technology okay eto na okay, na transform okay yung ating MIS okay it uh, so with the use of uh, IT okay and the advent of powerful computing systems, yung mga new software applications, and widespread connectivity of the internet, yung MIS nag-evolve from manual, paper-based record keeping to dynamic, real-time information management. So, IT enables organizations to collect vast amounts of data, analyze it quickly through advanced algorithms, and provide decision makers with actionable insights thereby enhancing yung kanilang strategic planning, resource allocation, and overall business performance. And uh, in addition, IT also has expanded the accessibility of MIS, allowing stakeholders to access critical information from anywhere, fostering also collaboration and improving the agility and competitiveness of modern businesses. So, in short, Ang um, IT has been one of the driving force behind transformi- uh, transformative capabilities of MIS. Okay? So, let's try to look into the role. Specifically, ano ba yung mga role ng IT in revolutionizing management information system? Number one, speed and efficiency. Okay, kanina yung traditional MIS, di ba? It relied on manual data entry and processing, which is very time-consuming and prone to error. So with IT, vast amounts of data can now be processed in the real time, ensuring that managers and decision makers have instant access to the most current information. Okay, uh, under data storage and retrieval naman, okay, So, with modern databases, which is component of uh, IT, it allows now for for organization to store enormous amounts of data in structured manner. And uh, this data that are stored can be queried, retrieved, and analyzed with unprecedented, unprecedented speed, allowing businesses to Uh, glean insights that were previously impossible or highly labor intensive and with that uh, number three it improves communication so telecommunication innovations in IT means that the data can now be communicated seamlessly across global operations so this has enabled businesses to operate more cohesively even when their operations span across continents and first uh, there is this automation of tasks software applications can now automate repetitive tasks handling complex, cal- uh, complex calculations 
and even use artificial intelligence to make predictions or recommendations. So this has allowed businesses to optimize operations, reduce costs, and improve service delivery. Okay, number uh, five, through uh, uh, IT, MIS can now be, or uh, data can now be, uh, yeah, na enhance yung data visualization. Okay, so oh, with the introduction of various tools, okay, or softwares, pwede nating transform yung complex data into visual dashboards, uh, graphs, and charts. So these uh, visualizations allow decision makers to understand trends, patterns, and anomalies quickly. And uh, there is also this integration. Since modern MIS is being backed up by IT already, this now integrates various functions of an organization. Okay, so for, for instance, yung sales data can now be immediately linked to inventory management or financial forecasting, ensuring that all parts of the business are in sync. And then lastly, we have here accessibility. Through the use of cloud computing, which is a product of IT advancements, this means that MIS data and tools can now be accessed uh, remotely, ensuring that managers and executives can make informed decisions no matter where they are. So, uh, with this, uh, 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 things na dinuskas ko, IT did not just make MIS more modern, but it has fundamentally transformed its capabilities, making it an indispensable tool for modern businesses. So, organizations equipped with IT back MIS are more agile, informed, and capable of making uh, decisions in dynamic business environment all right so with the use of uh, or with the help of it we move from traditional to modern mis okay so modern mis refers to contemporary integration of technology people processes to manage organize and even analyze data turning it into useful information that could aid decision-making in an organization. Diba? Nag-evolve yung uh, MIS sa traditional to modern. So, naging, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng sophisticated systems that can now blend advanced technology, skilled professionals, and streamline processes to manage not just uh, data but vast amounts of data efficiently. So, instead of merely storing data, these contemporary systems leverage now the use of AI, machine learning to transform raw data into actionable insights, ensuring that there is timely and informed decision making. Alright, so ano ba ang karakteristik ng isang modern MIS? So, number one, we have here cloud integration so instead of uh, premises servers many modern mis solutions are now cloud-based so this offers scalability flexibility real-time data processing ibig sabihin uh, you can uh, immediately uh, access data anytime you want and even anywhere so yung accessibility and yeah Okay, so for example, sa HR, no? HR teams could now use uh, cloud-based platforms, you know, just like Workday or Bamboo HR, to manage yung kanilang mga employee records, payroll, and benefits, ensuring that HR data can be accessed securely from any location. Number two, we have here a mobile compatibility. Modern MIS are designed to be accessible and functional on our mobile devices like our smartphones and our tablets so that managers can make decisions, view uh, dashboards, and even access key data on the go. Okay? So, let's say for example, in HR, yung HR manager can now use a mobile app 
na pwedeng gamitin sa applicant tracking system to review and approve candidate applications while on the go. Ayan. Number 3, modern MIS, meron ng real-time analytics. So, so, instead of static reports generated periodically, modern systems offer real-time data analysis. So, this means managers can now make informed decisions quicker with the latest data at their fingertips. Examples to HR, HR professional can now use platforms like uh, Payscale to get real-time insights into market salary trends, aiding them in competitive compensation planning. Number 4, Integration with Internet of Things or IoT So, as more devices become internet-enabled, MIS can pull data from a vast array of sources, from factory machines to wearable health devices. Okay. So, for example, um, wearable devices na binibigay sa mga empleyado to monitor health and wellness metrics na pwede nating integrate yan sa ating MIS to analyze yung overall physical well-being ng ating mga empleyado. Okay. Number five, uh, the, the inclusion of artificial intelligence or AI and machine, uh, and machine learning, okay, components yan ng modern MIS, which offers now predictive analytics, automate routine data tasks, and offer insights that might be missed by human analysts. Okay? So, let's say for example, sa HR, sa, sa recruitment, di ba? So, pwedeng gamitin natin yung uh, mga AI-driven tools to assess job applicants through gamified psychometric tests, predicting their uh, fit to the culture of the organization, the values of the organization, and and even the potential success of this applicant within the company. Yeah, pwedeng gamitin yan. Number six, enhanced security. And we all know, uh, with the rise of uh, cyber threats, modern MIS plays a strong emphasis on data protection, encryption, and user identification. Okay. So, alright, so, Let's say, for example, sa HR, alam naman natin that you will be handling, uh, you know, sensitive employee data. So, meron ng mga HR systems ngayon, nag implement ng mga stringent security protocols, ensuring employee personal and financial data remains confidential. So, meron mga HRIS, di ba? na may mga functions such as data encryption during the transmission and storage of data, yung tinatawag natin na multi-factor authentication for access, regular audits, compliance checks, and even intrusion detection system to fend off yung mga uh, nagka-hack system or mga various threats sa ating mga system. Okay. And then, uh, MIS, the modern MIS, mayroon na siyang tinatawag na user-friendly interfaces. Because today's uh, management information system solutions, they prioritize now or it prioritized now user experience. So, yung mga dashboards natin are visually appealing, intuitive, and customizable, making it easier for users to understand and interact with with the data na nandun sa ating MIS. Okay. And then, uh, number, yung second to the last, collaboration tools. Modern systems often uh, incorporate or integrate with collaboration tools to facilitate communication between team members, departments, or even different software solutions. Just like, for example, sa HR departments, pwede silang gumamit ng, ng HRIS for project management helping teams keep track of their ongoing recruitment drives, training programs, and employee engagement events. And then lastly, we have here modularity, modularity and scalability. So, ibig sabihin yan, pwede tayong mag-add or mag-remove ng functionalities as needed. 
Okay, so this means that uh, for company na lumalaki, yung paggamit nila ng MIS can grow with it without the need for buying or using another entirely new system. Okay, so pwede kang magdagdag ng mga, uh, for example, sa HR, no? pwede kang magdagdag ng modules. Kung ang ginagamit mo lang doon is payroll, okay, and training, now pwede kang gumamit ng mga ng mga modules on talent management, learning and development, employee wellness, as your organization grow and scale its operation. So without uh, this uh, need to switch for or switch to a new completely new platform. Okay, so in essence, um, modern MIS harnesses the latest in technology trends and innovations to offer more efficient, accurate, and timely management of information aiding yung ating mga decision makers in navigating the complexities of today's business environment. Alright? So, in in summary, okay, yung MIS, okay, if we're going to uh, summarize now what is an MIS, this are systems designed to manage and process data and their main purpose is giving decision makers the right information at the right time okay and also in business in business a manager's essential job is to make informed decisions vital for the company's growth okay and the role of MIS is very crucial in making informed decisions because it offers a data driven way of looking at challenges ensuring that choices are made based on solid data. Okay? And we also discuss yung difference ng data at saka information. So, while raw data might lack meaning on its own, but when it's processed and converted, it becomes valuable information for decision making. And of course, we discuss yung role of IT, information technology. So, in the current business world, IT is not just a tool, you know, it's a key element that improves how we process data and make decisions. Okay, and the modern MIS isn't just about collecting data because it provides now robust uh, security, user-friendly interfaces, teamwork tools, and ability to adapt as business evolve. Okay, so that's our discussion on the introduction of management information system.